name is uh, Samir Parmar and I am an application engineer with the machine vision group at SIG USA. This is uh, the first video as a series of uh, videos that are intended uh, to help uh, users to get started and work with uh, the Ranger and Ruler cameras. More specifically uh, the cameras that have got the Gigabit E, in e the Gigabit E interfaces. So before I go ahead with uh, the software downloads or the connection part, let us just establish um, a key difference between the Ranger and the Ruler cameras because they are very similar. The only difference is that with the Ranger you have the camera and the laser as two separate components and therefore they need to be sort of uh, placed in a particular geometry or they give the user a flexibility to orient them with respect to each other in any way to get uh, a slighter uh, smaller field of view in a more zoomed view or uh, to increase the resolution and so forth whereas in a ruler the easiest way to think about it is the ranger camera is already inside the ruler and the laser is uh, on this end so everything is provided to you in a square in a rectangular housing you cannot change the geometry and uh, the data therefore that comes out of the ruler device is calibrated and it saves you some effort as well in terms of trying to focus in the laser focusing the lens and so forth you are given a predetermined field of view and you can capture your data in that predetermined field of view with the ruler whereas with the ranger you would be basically focusing the the, the camera lens the laser and making sure you're getting a decent quality image that is the only key difference between these two types of cameras other than that they both use the same software environment uh, uh, to get the decent image to configure the parameters for acquiring images uh, as well as uh, to program them uh, to get the data from the camera to the computer they also use the same accessories as far as encoders sensors computer and so forth having said this uh, the first step is always uh, to download the software so you can go to our homepage which is uh, www.sicusa.com and once you're there on the right hand side over here you should be able to see a uh, search engine you can just go ahead and type in software and click on search and the second uh, result that turns out over here is uh, vision software click on that this is where you will be able to find all the vision software what we are interested in over here right now is uh, the ranger ruler software and the latest version is always uh, available on the top so at this point in time version 4.0 is the latest version you can go ahead and save this on your computer and then uh, run the executable this uh, Ranger Studio software will allow you to communicate with the cameras, uh, configure the parameters, and uh, uh, acquire measurement as well as image data from the cameras. Having said this, uh, the next step for us to look at is uh, the hardware environment. And this is the typical lab setup that I have over here. So I have the Ranger camera. I have the electrical connections on the top over here. I have uh, a laser line generator and you can see that it you know the laser line is kind of shown over here in red. I have a trigger sensor and I have an encoder. The trigger sensor basically are used to tell the camera when to start the acquisition. The laser obviously is there because the camera looks at the displacement of the laser and acquires profile by profile and I have the slider over here to execute the movement so that when I move my object from left to right or vice versa different portions of the object are coming in front of the camera uh, with the laser on top of it so we, the camera is able to acquire profile by profile uh, and then all that is combined to create a three-dimensional image and I have an encoder over here uh, which basically is used uh, in cases where the media movement is not consistent or constant uh, 
So to make sure that we have equidistant profiles, we usually use the encoder over here. And the Ranger cameras require the encoder to be uh, giving out 5 volts TTL input. So another look at the electrical connections over here. On the Ranger camera itself, you will see that there are three electrical connections. There is an encoder cable here. And again, this encoder input to the camera has to be 5 volts TTL. There is a power I.O. cable to power the camera, obviously. And then there is the Ethernet cable, which allows you to uh, connect uh, a computer to the camera. So once the, we have uh, the hardware as well uh, set up, do not pay attention to this geometry because the geometry could be anything that you want it to be. This is just uh, you know to show you what the setup looks like. Uh, once uh, we have this uh, hardware set up the way we want, uh, the next step for us is to configure the Ethernet. Uh, we can go to Start Settings Control Panel, and then we can go to Network Connections. You want to make sure that this wireless connection is not only just uh, not connected but also disabled, such that it should be grayed out over here. You want to make sure that all your firewalls are turned off, or at least you have uh, the Ranger Studio software included in the Exceptions tab of the Windows firewall and any other firewall software you're using. And you want to make sure that your network card over here is a gigabit E uh, network card and it has a static IP address configured. Uh, we do not, uh, we are not able to use DHCP over here. And the usually the Ranger cameras, uh, when you get them, they have uh, the IP address of 192.168.2. something. So I will put down maybe 68 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 so have a static IP address over here and make sure that uh, you are connected uh, to the Ranger camera directly uh, so the cable the Ethernet cable goes from the camera to the PC directly or you could use uh, a switch in between if you want but then there should be no other device uh, uh, that should be connected to that switch if you're using one uh, it could be other Ranger or Ruler cameras, but no other Ethernet devices. So once we have uh, the TCP IP uh, settings configured over here, click OK. And uh, I can minimize this. I can now go to Start Programs. If I had downloaded my installation in its uh, default directory, I should be able to go to 3D Cameras, Icon Device Configuration, and since my camera is already powered up I can go ahead and click update and if there are any cameras that are connected uh, to my PC right now uh, this icon device configuration will detect that so the camera finally got detected um, and we can see that the IP address of the camera is actually not uh, what I had anticipated it to be the third digit is zero so I need to go back again to my network uh, connections um, and I need to sort of match up the IP address so that communication is possible so I will change this third digit to be equivalent to zero and click OK and now because they have the same uh, first three digits of the IP address I should expect uh, communication to be possible can minimize this and uh, Actually, I could have, if I had wanted, I could have even configured the camera over here. So put down the IP address of the camera and net mask if I wanted. Uh, but I chose the other way around. And now, since I already have detected the camera, I can now go ahead and say Programs, SIC IVP, 3D Cameras, and now I can open up the Ranger Studio software. This is the software environment that uh, will allow us to uh, see the camera image, basically. So before I say connect over here I need to go ahead and select the type of camera I'm working with and in this case I don't have a Ranger E I don't have a Ruler E I actually have a Ranger D camera so I'll select that and I will go ahead and say communication options and uh, find devices so even from this uh, interface I want to make sure that it does detect uh, the Ranger D camera and there you go it picked it up I'll click OK now I can go ahead and say connect and we can see that it does establish the connection seek IVP Ranger D40 with that IP address 
and you get some sort of message over here at the bottom so we have successfully now managed to establish connection between uh, our PC and the Ranger camera now for further instructions on how to get uh, configure the parameters uh, load different components and get a decent image uh, please view the uh, other videos thank you for your attention